champion, Roman Pavlik. Set the world record back in Finland in 2005 in Espoo. So Pavlik's first attempt, 5.23, his personal best. That's a really strong leap by Pavlik. He's gone a good distance. And he's really trying to set the standard already. Having taken the honours at London 2012. A brilliant jump by Roman Pavlik. 5.44. And it's a new world record. Five point four four for Roman Pavlik of the Ukraine, and he has broken his own world record. What a way to start the competition! So it's been a great game so far for the Ukraine. They won two gold medals this morning, putting them uh, ahead of their neighbours Russia in the medals table. The Russians winning four medals this morning, but only one gold, two silver and a bronze. Visual confirmation for you. Roman Pavlik has broken his own world record, 5 metres 44, and this now his second attempt. Always a bit of pressure when you first jump, you've set a new world record. What do you do with your second jump? We well, it, see. it might just be the case that he's already won it. Marius Sobchak in second place, 5.02. And this is the T36 final on its own, and the F36 final on its own. So there's no points in play, it is distance. That's another good leap again. I should tell you about the uh, long jump that was held earlier this morning. Chairman Kobasov of Russia went away celebrating, thought he'd won. And then Andrei Onofranko of the Ukraine was awarded the gold medal because the athletes had been reclassified midway through the competition, which I've never seen before. Good firm run up. Well, 5.44 in the first round. 5.22 this time, and even that would have put him in the lead. This world record of 5.44 has him in first place. We've seen some brilliant performances so far already today. The first gold of the day went to Brazil, Odair Santos in the uh, 5,000 metres, the T11. Just a quote from him, he says, I feel really happy, I did a great run. I cannot wait to receive the gold medal. I felt confident and I thank my guide very much. <laughs> 